Hi, I'm RJ Straw, aka Young Shepherd, owner of RJ's Kitties and BarnLab.com. Welcome to Video Cast 6. This week we had snow. It was kind of fun, but not really. I had to do chores in it, which wasn't the fun part, but we did get a lot done inside. My snow day can't do much, so Mom made brownies. They were really good. She even let me do my favorite part lick the beat. They don't taste the same unless you get to lick the beaters. I don't know why. Spring is here because we have baby chicks in the bathroom, which are really cute and fuzzy, as you can see. They're still hatching. We have an incubator with some in them right now. There's four there, and now there's six. Hopi and her puppies are growing. Hopi's getting wider, and the puppies are getting fatter. They like to play and wrestle. They're really f cute to watch, cute, fuzzy, and really cute. Just born earlier this year. We got Billy's lambs in the kitchen, which get into everything. You know when you leave your boot down, they'll be sticking their head in it, trying to figure it out. They follow your feet around everywhere. We have a heater set up for them, so that way at night they don't get cold. They tr even tried to eat my cowboy toy. I was playing with that and turned them loose. Billy is a friend of mine who had cancer. He has been two years cancer free. And because his dad died, he's having to sell his lambs. So I decided I was going to get one of them. So that way he, when he got out of college, he'd have a lamb. He may never want to come get it from our house, but it'll always be his lamb. We got to watch all the lambs play after we fed them and... They got into everything, chewing on stuff. They follow your feet around like they're dogs. It's really fun to watch. They have accidents in Mom's floor, so she gets really mad. They spread everything out. So Mom may have had a pile of dirt on the floor, which they spread it out. You got pine shavings everywhere. and Mom's trying to get away from them, and they just keep jumping and bucking at her and coming to her. But they always have pine shavings on the floor and hay on the floor. They're really fuzzy. They like to play on things. They really liked the carpet. On the concrete, they can't stand up very well, so they like the carpet better. Because they sit there and headbutt you on the carpet, but when they get on the concrete, they hit you and they start sliding around. It's really cute. But they they like the carpet best, and Dad's trying to clean up accidents. and They, they weren't housebroke, which was not Mom's ba favorite part about them. But, they're alright. It's too cold for them to go outside, so they're all inside and we have to clean up after them a lot. We have to clean. I spent my whole week cleaning up after them. You gotta clean their cage once a week, and once a day at least, to keep them from getting sick. From eating nasty hay and pine shavings. But, they wanted to go out with me, but I couldn't let them go outside because of how cold it was. So... I had to get out the door and get it shut before they got out. Once we got it clean, they like to go in there and eat the hay once you locked them in. But getting them to go inside was a different story. Felt like a sheep wrangler, not a shepherd. Because you'd get them right up to the door and they'd want to eat. Then one would want to go one way. you get one in. Then they'd try to come back out while you got the other one in. Then they'd get a leg sticking outside and you'd have to push them further up in there. Then you get one in and the other turn around. They've already figured out how to get the cage open. So the only time that they don't try to open it is when we got it, it tied closed and they're asleep. That's the only time they won't try to get it open. But they're cute and fuzzy. Their collars are way too big because they won't go down any smaller. They're really fun. Mom is selling this Hoosier cabinet because she wants to put a pin in the area it's at. It's got an actual flower sifter that works and everything. It's really neat because you can actually sift flour in it. It's got a baker's rack and a pie safe. That mom, That's what mom calls it. You can put anything in it. Kbone09 gave me a project to do. It is a hat rack that I, had, that I cleaned up. It's solid brass. It shines really nice now. She gave me a set of books too. They're really nice leather casing. They are the Great Chiefs, the Trailblazers, the Loggers, 
the cowboys, the soldiers, the Indians, the Texans, the women, the gunfighters. They have real maps and their great illustrations have big maps and of all over the U.S. Even though mom's head hurt really bad, she decided she was going to make the lamb blankets. She made them just a little big, but that's okay. She got ten out of the whole blanket K bone off nine gave us. It's a full size blanket and she even had enough for a little scarf. The lambs have bows on their backs because mom made them a little big. We got to draw for the blues chaser. We ended up with drawing out. It was really fun. Guess y'all are waiting to see who really won, but the winner is Heaven's Joy. I already announced it on the blog, so you guys that didn't read the blog, there it is. For Valentine's Day, I got a giant Hershey's bar. Thanks for watching. In other news, we have 4-H news. We have the lock-in this Friday through Saturday morning. I have a roping dummy contest that I'm helping with and some other workshops that I'm just there to help with. In school, I'll I still have my two C's, but they're coming up. They're higher now. In entertainment, we've been watching Little House on the Prairie based on Laurel in Laura Ingalls Wilder's books that she wrote. Mom has a headache, so this might not be the greatest video cast ever. Thanks for watching.